everybody in here. I'm outside the front porch. I've had my coffee. I kind of slept in a little bit, so I gotta go check the eggs and the nest back there. Look at those beautiful eggs. It's not even 9 a.m. yet, and I got five, so all the hens laid this morning, bright and early. This is wonderful. It rained all night last night and part of this morning, so yep, I'm doing another load of laundry. And as somebody suggested, I covered this up when it rains so it won't get all rusty, hopefully. Very carefully. I'm gonna slide in here and see if we got anything new. Looky here, you guys. There are now two eggs in that nest. I read that wrens will come back and lay an egg a day until they have four or five or so, and then she'll start sitting on them, hopefully. Here's a still photo of them. I think you can see them a little bit better, and I'm pretty sure these are wren eggs because it looks like a wren nest, and they've got the, the little ring at the one end. So, I don't know, you guys. Hopefully, she will lay a few more in there, and she will just keep laying and sit on them, and maybe I'll have some cute baby wrens eventually. I just got a load of laundry done, and you know what? I like doing laundry. Yep, I do. With that ringer and that pounder thing that was sent to me, it's it's just kind of fun. It's therapeutic. You can let your mind wander. Um, so, they're all hanging up now. I've actually, I've only rinsed them once, and I usually rinse them twice. Um, and I've just got them hanging up here and there because it's supposed to rain again and maybe get them to get rinsed off one more time. Um, I also wanted to tell you too, Miss Pris Fancy Pants still sitting on the eggs. I did candle them to, again today. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to film that because I just want to do it quickly. I want to get it done and put the eggs back up underneath of her. Um, when I went in to check today, she was already off the nest. So I figured this is going to be a good time. She was getting something to eat and drink and whatnot. So I just put like a, <laughs> a cover thingy over me. I uh, got it as dark as I could. And I saw signs of life in every single one of those eggs. Okay, initially she laid eight eggs. Or no, she didn't lay them all. That there were eight eggs in there. Um, there's four leghorns now and three brown ones. And then there was one more wh white leghorn egg in there in the beginning. But a uh, day after she started sitting on him, it, I found it in the nest broken. So there must have been something wrong with that egg. So she broke it. I just took it out. It didn't look like it was messy in there. I don't know if she ate the insides or what. Um, so all the other seven eggs are showing signs of life. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing the little eye part. I'm seeing veins. Um, one of them, it looked like uh, one of the leghorn eggs. It looked like the, the baby chick was starting to move. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get seven chickens, uh, maybe I'll get seven roosters, maybe I'll get one rooster and no hens, who knows, I don't care. I'll just be, I'll feel blessed to get whatever I got. If I get roosters, well, then it's time to start another flock and I'm going to have to build another area of some kind or another, so that'll be interesting. Um, what else? Oh, I got something in the mail. <laughs> I went to the post office box today and I got two things. This was actually in the post office box. Normally they just give you a little yellow uh, thingy. And um, I don't even think I need the knife for this one. Oh my gosh. Top 50 most delicious empanada recipes for my little dumpling maker thingy. Oh my gosh. Who sent this? I have a feeling I know. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift. This will give you some fun ideas for making up a variety of little pies. Ruthie J. Oh, Ruthie, my goodness. Oh, yes. I could tell you right now. That looks delicious. That one right there. Oh, my gosh. Blueberry and chocolate empanada. Are you serious? Strawberry and cream cheese. Apple and cinnamon. I'm doing that. You better believe it. Oh, plantain and back, uh, black bean empanada. Oh, I can tell I'm gonna be making a lot of these. Thank you, Ruthie. That is really, really awesome. All right, let me put it back in the bag because it's kind of damp out here and I don't want to get it ruined. I'm gonna, I can tell you what I'm gonna do after I'm done uploading this video. I'm gonna go through that book and just read it to you front to back. The next one, this one can't show the other side because it says, it's from Sarah H. Okay, now I get to. Let's see. It's what's in there. Don't know what any of it is. 
so we're just going to look right now. Bubble wrap. Oh, Krispy Kreme jelly bellies. Oh, these are going to be yummy. The original gourmet jelly bean. Oh, yes. They're delicious. What? If you have this, give to someone. It. Oh, it's a radio. I do not have one of these. I need one of these. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I am totally going to... Let's see. What kind of batteries does it take? I don't know. Oh! You can charge it with the USB thing, you guys. And it looks like it's got a little uh, flashlight on it, too. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, this is a great gift, Sarah. I love it. More safety pins, which is good because I have a few, but I needed some more, definitely. I always, always need these for something and I never have them. I see something pretty awesome. Onions. Stewed garter onions, edible veggies, full sun harvest in the summer. I am going to plant a ton of these. All I've got is those little walking onions and they, their bulbs don't get very big. I really just eat the those for their tops. This is awesome. I'm definitely going to plant those. <gasps> what? Ronk's candle lighter. I was looking at these on Amazon just yesterday. It is. It's one of these. It's like a arky thingy. You charge it up with the USB. It is. It is the exact same one that I wanted. The exact same one that I wanted. Look at this. So you charge it. And see that right there? A little elect electronic thing goes through that. And so you can light your fires. I can light my butane stove. I cannot freaking believe it, Sarah, that you ordered me one of these because I had actually put it on a, a private wish list, just things that I'm, you know, I really, really want and I'm going to get for myself at some point. And it is the exact same one. So, yep, I will absolutely be charging this up. Oop, it comes with its own charger. Oh, that is so awesome. I can't freaking believe it. It's the R-O-N-X one. Um, I even read the reviews on Amazon for these, and they're really super good. So, you bet. Okay, what's next? I just got to show you these. Look at these. Silica gel sachets. I save these every time I get one of these, like in a pack of beef jerky or whatever. I save them because when you de dehydrate things like... Uh, peppers or onions or orange peels or whatever and I've done all of those um you can put one of these down in there it'll preserve them longer I have some dehydrated orange and lemon pills that to this day I dehydrated them two years ago they're still good so I hang on to these all right I've got a card but I'm going to go through the rest of this before I read the card fabric face mask oh this looks like a nice one too and I love the colors Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it on right now. Ooh, this is really, really soft. It feels good on my face, and it fits good around the nose. I bet you when I have my glasses on, it's not going to fog them up. Yeah, I love it. Good idea, Sarah. So soft. Okay, what's next? Oh, Better Homes and Gardens, one of my favorite magazines. Embrace the power of color. Just so happens... That these colors are among my favorite. I mean, I love green, but I love all shades of green. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely be going through this, too. Oh, I used to get this magazine all the time. <gasps> Look at this. Stuffed French toast, sausage, and asparagus. Looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> Heck, yeah, it does. So, let me open the card. I think it's an Easter card. As you rejoice in his love. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, kind of looks like my meadow area in certain places. Uh, oh, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, she sent me pictures. Ke uh, Kelsey and Sarah. I don't know if I have permission to show these photos. I, I Kelsey and Sarah, I'm not going to show these photos. But 
I can include them. I'm going to make a collage of things that um, subscribers and people and friends and whatnot have sent me, and I'm going to put it in that, and then I can hang it up in my tiny house, but I'm not going to show you these guys. I don't have permission to show their images, so, oh, oh, oh my gosh, Amazon gift card, Amazon gift card, 50 bucks, oh my gosh, I am going to go shopping today. There are some stuff that I want, so I am going shopping today on Amazon, and on the inside, it says, Dear Anne, Hope this beautiful season blesses your heart, your home, and your world with its own special happiness. Sarah and Kelsey. Thank you so much, Sarah. And there's an, there's another little typed out thing. I don't want to drop anything. I don't want to bend these pictures. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. She wants me to read this out loud. So let me just see. Okay. I hope, things, I hope these things are useful to you. The photo was when we went to Myrtle Beach a few years ago. We are so ready to get out and travel soon. This COVID ruined a lot of lives and was no fun for the past two years. I agree. Our dogs are Mocha, and I think it's pronounced Giada. Uh, you can mention our first names and our puppies. Okay, good. I'm holding Mocha. My boyfriend, Kelsey, is holding Giada. I see you're wearing the jammies we sent every day. Um, I want the, uh, these jelly beans may make you crave a donut. I'd, I wouldn't be surprised. I picked them up at a local farm store called Brinkman's here in where she lives. They sell them in bulk and little sample sizes. If you have a favorite flavor, let me know in the video and I'll hook you up. I have no, I, I mean, I couldn't begin to choose a favorite flavor. I, I just couldn't. Um, I hope you enjoy them and hope this Amazon card helps you out. It will. Also, why not more safety pins? Never can have too many. You can never have too many safety pins. Sounds like you need a security camera on your chickens. Oh, yeah, I, I, I might. I might do that. Got to keep them in check. <laughs> LOL. The lighter we sent is plasma, and you have to charge it on USB. It's electric. It's great for different lighting times and wind. I, I still cannot get over. Just yesterday, whoops, just yesterday, I was looking at that very lighter online. I can't believe it. My prayers for your chickens. I hope they learn to get along and give you plenty of eggs. Need them eggs. They're learning to get along because you know why? Because Romeo makes them get along. Mm -hmm. um, hope you have a wonderful Easter. God bless. And same to you guys. Uh, also, if you can mention where you like to get food near you or shopping stores, please update us in your next video. Um, I'll think about that. I I mean, I, I have a grocery store where I go to. I just went there today. Um, and I don't really i mean we've got a mcdonald's um i prefer wendy's we've got a wendy's right next door to them and we've got um a taco bell but as far as you know restaurants i really don't go to restaurants uh very very rarely um god bless many good vibes and prayers for you and your tiny life farm love your videos always and enjoy all the updates very wonderful sarah Thank you so much. I This is another one I'm going to say forever. It really just, it brightens my day. And happy Easter to you and your family and your furry family. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, these next two came to my, my mailbox outside. And I opened them because I thought they were things that I had ordered for myself, but they're not. So I'm going to show you what they are. They're already open, though. Alrighty, the first thing... Um, I knew I was getting this uh, because she told me. Miss Donna, lovely Miss Donna B. <laughs> I can't believe it too because I actually had these in my cart at Tractor Supply Company. Um, I was just getting ready to purchase them basically, but I don't have to. Fence clips. Whoops, one's coming out the back. Um, these, these attached your gate to the fence post and you just got to you put it on and then you twist one part this way and the other part this way. And there is 100, 100 T-post clips in here. Um, I had called Donna and we were talking about, you know, brainstorming ideas for my fence and the gates and blah, blah, blah. And she had all these great ideas and I'm hoping I can implement at least a few of them. Okay, so there's that. And then there's this. I wasn't expecting this, but... You're going to see why. It's awesome. These, oops, there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of them. 
you can use these to attach a gate to a wooden post or something. Now, I don't have any wooden posts, but um, I do have I do have the, the fence posts and these you can you can bring them in you can you know make them smaller or bigger or whatever um and the gate that i'm going to put at least up front is going to be wood it's going to be one of those wood pallets turn it turn it the other way um so i'm thinking somehow some way i'm going to be able to use these along with the metal t-posts with a uh what do you call those things over our pallet wood fence i i think i can do it i think I think I can figure out a way to do it. So Donna, thank you so much. You are always thinking of ways to, you know, get things done and whatnot. You know, <laughs> I wish I had the brains that you do, but you can be the brains. I'll be the brawn. Anyhow, um, how about we set something on fire? Alrighty. It's charged. You hit this little thing. I'm going to hold it this way because I'm scared. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? Can you see that? Can you? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, whoa. And it's windy out here. Let's try it again. Whoa, my gosh. That is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Oops. I cannot wait to use this thing to light my little camp stove and the in the fire inside. Well, I don't know if I'm going to burn any more fires inside. I might over the next few days because of the temperatures are going to drop really low. But outside, cooking outside, look at that. Okay, I think this video is officially long enough. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. And thank you, you guys. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one